Hi everyone! Today we're going to show you how to create search forms with our plugin Give Booking and Appointment for WooCommerce. Search forms are really useful for customers to filter and find the bookable product that best fits their needs. Before we get into it, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. In order to be able to create and add search forms to your site, first you need to enable the module in GID, Booking and Appointment, Add-ons, Modules. You're going to enable this module right here, Search Forms. And right after doing that, you're going to find a new subtab in Configuration. Right here, Search Forms. We're going to click here. Here's where you can create unlimited search forms to help users find the bookable product that best meets their needs as quickly and easily as possible. Let's create a search form by clicking on Create Search Form. We'll get this new page to configure the form. Let's enter a name to identify the form. And then we're going to find the fields of this form. Here you can enable or disable the fields you want to display in this search form and configure them by expanding the fields. For example, we have a search field right here. We can change the label here. It's search. You can change it to anything you want here. You can also enable it or disable it. Then you have the location. Let's expand it as well. You can set a default distance range. Here it's 30 and you can choose to show or hide the distance range. In this case, if I disable it, I'm going to be hiding the distance range. Then we have categories and tags. These ones are not expandable, so they can only be enabled or disabled. This one allows users to search on categories or tags. These, of course, are only visible if you have, in fact, created tags and categories. Also, for categories, you can set which ones to show if you go over to settings, general settings, set which categories to show in search forms. You have all product categories or you can choose specific product categories and add them here. Back to that search form we're creating. Then you have dates, which has two different alternatives. If we expand here, we're going to see two different options to show two different date pickers or to show a date range picker selector. I'm going to choose this one. So this will show two different lines to select the start and end date. And this one will show one line to select the start and end date. Both of these options show the calendar in a drop down menu. Then we have people. If you have enabled the people module, you can show a people field and decide how to display it. The options are people field to insert the number of guests included in the booking. Then we have people type field to insert the number of guests by people type. So it can be two adults, three children, and so on. And then we have the people selector field. This one is to select the number of guests by people type. I'm going to select this one. And then we have the services field. If you enabled the services module, you can also show a services field in your search form. You can show them as checkboxes or show a service selector. So in this case, all the services will be included in a drop-down list. This is mostly recommended if you have a long list of services, but I'm not going to add this field to the search form. I'm going to disable it. And then if I scroll down, we're going to find an option section with further options to customize the form. You can choose the layout, which can be vertical or horizontal. Let's choose horizontal. You can also choose how to show the results, either in a pop-up window or in the shop page. Next, you can customize the search form colors, the search button colors, and the search button border radius. Let's save this search form. Search form created. Let's go back to search forms. Once the search form has been created and saved, a shortcut will be generated to allow you to show the form on any page of your choice. Here is the shortcut right here, and here you can copy it. 
you can use Gutenberg blocks or a widget to add this search form to the site. Let's see how to add the form using Gutenberg first. So I just copied this shortcode. First, we need to go to pages, choose the page where you want to show the search form and click on edit. Once inside, add a new block, select shortcode and paste the shortcode generated for your form. Update and after saving the changes, the form will be displayed on the front end according to the settings configured. Let's see a couple of examples. Here you can see we have a horizontal search form added with a shortcode. We have the location field here to look for a location because I enabled the Google Maps module previously. I can search for a hotel room in Rome, for example. I get all these options. Then I can choose the check-in and the check-out dates with the date range picker selector. And here I have the people selector field with the people types because I enabled the people module and created all these people types. And then by clicking on the search button, I would get the results. Let's see another example. This is a vertical search form added with the shortcode as well. You can create something like this with columns. I can type the location here select the dates, the people included in the booking, and then just click on search to find the bookable products that match my search. Let's go back to the dashboard. Another option to show the search form is using the booking search form widget. In this case, from this edit page, you can select a specific sidebar to display the form. So first, let's remove this block. Then let's go here to page. We're going to look for the sidebar management section and we're going to choose the position. You can choose the position of your choice. I'm going to select right and sidebar default sidebar. I'm going to update. Then I'm going to go back to the dashboard and we're going to go over to appearance widgets. We're going to expand the sidebar we selected for that page and we're going to insert the booking search form widget. There we go. You can also select the title here if you want to and select the search form right here. We only have one created, but keep in mind you're going to see here the name that you assigned to each search form. Let's select the search form. We're going to update and that's it. That's how you can add the search forms you create to the widget areas or to the pages using the shortcodes generated by the plugin. Okay, so that's how you can create search forms with our plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.